Now, there's another interesting point sitting on this particular plot. And it's a point that is halfway to the equivalence point. You might not think that that's a special place, um, but w when we do a little bit of math, you'll see it's not hard to discern that it is. If this is the buffer equation right here, and that's describing this region on this curve. I have to ask myself, what's going on in this region? Well, the pH isn't changing very much, that's true. It's also the case that there will be a point where the amount of acid and the amount of base will be exactly equal to each other. If I start with four um, uh, weak acids and I add two hydroxides, I'll get to a point where there's two HAs and two A minuses. Oh, they're equal in amount in the same volume, so that's a one-to-one -one ratio. If I start with 800 weak acids and I add 400 hydroxides, then I got to a point where it's 400 weak acids and 400 weak bases. In other words, whenever I am halfway to the volume of the endpoint, the ratio of the CA to the CB has to be equal to the number 1. Well, if that's the number 1 there, at the halfway point, then at the halfway point, the H plus is equal to the Ka. Right there, at that point right there, the proton concentration is equal to Ka. Which means, when I'm plotting pH over here, that the pH is equal to the pKa. Wow. That value right there is where the pH equals the pKa. I can actually draw a plot of this and immediately label what that place is on that curve just by knowing the Ka of the solution I'm working with. Watch this. Plot a weak acid titrated with a strong base. Ka is equal to 10 to the minus 5. So I'm told this. Here goes. So do a plot. This is going to be titrating with strong base. Here's my pH over here. I'm going to label this pH 7 right there just to give us some sense of scale. I know that if this is the endpoint right here, if that's the endpoint, if that's the volume of the titration endpoint, then right here at the halfway to the endpoint, that value must be equal to pH equals pKa. Let me do a pKa calculation. Oh, 5. Right there at pH 5, I know that I must go through this point on the curve. Now, I know that I'm starting with a weak acid, so the pH is somewhere down in the 3, 4, or 5 range. And I know that once I get over here toward the end point, it's going to shoot up. And I know that at this end point, I'm going to be at a pH which is greater than 7. So that's kind of neat. I've actually been able to draw pretty quantitatively what my titration curve looks like for titrating something weak with something strong. That point right there is defined by being equal to the point where the pH is equal to the pK here, because I have one-to-one -one ratios of the amount of acid to base when I'm halfway to the end point. A very famous kind of question put on to titration equation tests.